Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Imilab Smart Video Doorbell that has launched a Kickstarter and I will leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. So inside the box you get a 2 year extended warranty card that you can get if you follow the steps on the card. You also get a pretty thick user manual and you will also find a screw hole positioning card to help you mount the doorbell. They included the receiver in the box so that's nice. It has little antennas on the side to improve the range and provide a more stable connection and so far I have no complaints on that. This smart video doorbell offers local storage and there's a micro SD card slot on the side and this will allow up to a 64GB SD card. I prefer having the SD card on the hub instead of the camera itself because that way if someone ends up stealing the camera you will still have the footage of who did it and what they did before stealing your camera. Now a small con of this is that the video will be compressed since it needs to transfer over Wi-Fi to the hub so you will lose some quality, you won't be getting the true quality of the camera. Since the video doorbell offers local storage, you don't need to get the subscription unless you really want to. I feel that all security cameras should give you this option and not just make you get a subscription. So inside the box you will find a USB-A to micro USB cable to charge the camera. And they give you two screws and two wall anchors in case you will be mounting it on drywall. This is super easy to mount and will take you less than 5 minutes to install. So the video doorbell has a sleek design and on the front you get the lens, sensor, microphone and the doorbell button. This charges through the micro USB port found on the back and it has a silicone cover to keep water and dust out. The camera is rated for IP66 so it will be okay on rainy days. On the bottom it has the speaker cutout. So they provide you with a plastic attachment that has a quick release mechanism to amount the doorbell to make it quick and easy to charge it. To amount the doorbell you have to use a same tray ejection tool or a thin piece of metal. You simply insert it on a tiny hole on top here and it will unlatch, releasing the doorbell from the wall attachment. So it's a pretty simple system. So a neat thing is that you can mount this in landscape view and it comes with a 15 degree angle bracket that can angle the camera downwards and this way you can get a view of the floor without needing to mount it low to keep an eye on your packages. Or you can use it like it was meant to be used on a corner. So the smart video doorbell has a 5200 milliamp hour battery that will last roughly 6 months depending on how often it detects movement and gets used. This has a nice little animation when you ring the doorbell. You can change the ringtone of the doorbell and indoor hub independently and they gave you three ringtones to choose from. And this is what they sound like. They also give you an option to record your own message which is pretty cool. Hey, go away and stop stealing my packages. Now, when someone rings the doorbell, the app will automatically launch the video call so you can see who's at the door right away. You can either decide to take the call or decline the call. From this live view, you can mute the mic, mute the sound, change the streaming quality from 2.5K to 720p. You can take a screenshot, record the video, or leave a quick reply message from one of the pre-recorded messages. This video doorbell offers a two-way call so you can talk to whoever's at your door, but I was not able to get the audio to work on my unit when going into the live view. So I won't be able to give you an audio sample. Since this is a early release unit, I will just wait for an update to see if it gets fixed. Now what I can give you is a sample of how the alarm sounds since it works. The alarm is pretty loud which I like, and here's a quick audio sample. This video doorbell offers human detection which you can either keep enabled or disable. You will get a notification on your phone which will take roughly 0.1 second according to them but in my experience it has taken 1-3 to three seconds to get that notification and this might be due to my internet connection not being the best. The sensor on this has been doing a great job and it begins to record at a fairly far distance and I have not gotten any false notifications. You can adjust the PIR sensitivity in the app from 1 to 4. The doorbell will record up to 60 seconds in custom mode or you can leave it in the auto mode and it will stop recording when there's no more activity which is also limited to 60 seconds. You can set the retriggering interval to less than 10 seconds to get a longer video and this can be set up to 120 seconds. 
You can also customize the area you want the video doorbell to sound the alarm when it detects motion. This has a 4 megapixel sensor with a 150 degree viewing angle and this records in 2.5K which gives you a good image during the day and night. The video quality is not the clearest but it's good enough for a doorbell camera. It offers a wide dynamic range mode which I highly recommend you enable and the videos look way better since the highlights are not too blown out. This will support video streaming to one of your devices through Google Assistant or Alexa but this option is not yet available on my unit. So the night vision on this is pretty good on the doorbell camera. You have the option to have it always on or always off or you can set it to switch automatically depending on the lighting condition. Okay, so now taking a quick look at the app, it is pretty straightforward. If you have multiple security cameras from iMeLab, you will see them on here. Once you're inside the video doorbell view, you will get a timeline of all the motion events and interactions throughout the day. To move between the days and months, tap on the top left where it has the date. You will get a nice calendar view. The little blue dots indicates that there are videos that you haven't yet seen. If you tap on the top right, it will give you an option to filter between person event, doorbell events, or set it to view all events. Now the row underneath the video has all your controls. You can play and pause the video with the first icon, the second one mutes and unmutes the sound, the next one saves the video to your device, and the last one puts it in full view. Alright, so that does it for today's video. If you're interested in backing this project up, I will leave the Kickstarter link in the description. So thank you all for watching, feel free to drop a like if you found the video helpful, and subscribe for more tech related videos, and I will talk to you on the next one.